you a filthy rat. Michael, how dare you call your father? Well, not you, Dad. Michael's Peter Tan and John's Captain Hook. Yes, fine enough. Where are my shirt puppies? Nana, do you know? We'll have to look at the treasure map the boys made to find it. Let's see. I follow the line here to the dotted line here to the X marks the... Oh, no, oh, no, my shirt! George! This is no time to be playing with the children. We are late. This was my last clean shirt. You are pirates. I'm not a pirate. I'm an Indian now. I'm a mermaid. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh, they're all slaughtered. Wendy, why are these cuckoos under the bed? That's where Peter Pan did the pirate's treasure. You and your ridiculous stories. Captain Cook, Peter Pirate, Peter Pan. Pan, pirate, puppy. Now, George. Now, George. Now, George. Now, George will have to say, Wendy, this is your last night sleeping in this room. What? You need to be a proper lady. You can't rough house with your bows. You can't sculpt their heads with silly stories. We will have some dignity in this house. <coughs> Grow up tomorrow. 
be up properly. Grow up! Tomorrow I'm leaving the nursery, which means no more stories. What? Oh, I'm taking you never. You'll never grow up there. But what would my mom say? What's a mom? What's a mom? <laughs> Someone who loves you and tells you stories. Good. You can be our mom. <laughs> Ow! Stop it! There's one more thing you should know. Although you see me as normal-sized girl, I'm really just a two-inch tall fairy, which is why my voice sounds like bells to most humans. <laughs> Look, she's there.
with me if I could only find a secret lair. I plunge me, cut us deep into a secret sweet heart. But enough, this must be finished. Bring me my map. Maybe his and his boys had out some permits again? We've done mine in every cave in Thurman's moon. Maybe somewhere in Cannibal Cove? We've all very depth in Thurman's moon. Maybe somewhere in Indian territory? No, no, no. That's it! I'm brilliant! Those Indians know the island better than anyone! They must know where the insolent maid hides at night. We must catch a tiger lily. <coughs> Chief Star? Yes, and if tiger lily won't tell us, we'll boil her in oil. What do you say to that? That ain't good form! Blast good form! Did Pan show good form when he did this to me? I thought you liked it, though. You know, for scratching and coming your head. Tis true. Why were mother afraid to have my child born with this? Instead of this. You know, in a way you think, Pan. Oh, Smee, but he threw my hand in the maw of a crocodile, and the beast has been licking his lips for me ever since. Well, luckily, the crocodile has swallowed a clock, she has let the tick tock, tick tock, so we know when to get away before he reaches you. Why, I can almost hear it now. Oh, no! The bird is here! Save me! You! Over oh, there! What are you doing? I'm uh, feeding the uh, pleasant creatures of the sea. Not that one! Scoundrels! Listen up!
against the Indians. We're at war with them. Then we should march. We can take it from here. Bye. Bye. 
from. You know when that scurvy breath had loose and I do not. Tell me or die. You don't! Shh! Am I not a man of my word, speak? Yes, sir. Always, Captain. Come on, Tiger Lily, or soon you'll be Davy Jones' locker for you. And remember your sacred beliefs. There's no path through waters but happy hunting ground. Speak. Now, Peter, play. Oh, folks! How is it told? Oh, what a rude and peasant hook am I? Who are you, stranger? I am James Hook, captain of the Jolly Roger. But if you're Hook, then who am I? A codfish! A codfish? A we good captain all this time, buddy? A codfish? Fool! This is merely some witchcraft. Wait here while I get to the bottom of this.
boys are spiders, not just boys are strong. God, you keep inside your heart, take your name.
pretend game. You have a real mom. Oh. Does she have so many ears and wear a fur coat? That was Nana. I think I had a mother once. I think it's time we go home. No, no, no. Stay many minutes. Have a big fun time. Peter, we've got to be practical. And Indian brains don't even talk like that. Do you just want to stay here and grow up like savages? Savages? Well, my film is true. Here we are, finally, after all these years. Oh, Wendy, tell me about my mother. She's the lovely voice that bids you good night. Kisses your cheek. Like a white piece, you like to take 
fortune. Be the scourge of all the oceans, yet the choice is up to you. But if you say no, you'll have to walk the plank.
you see that? You know, I had the strangest feeling that when I was a boy, I saw a ship like that, and there was an island, and a boy who would go up. Oh, Wendy, I understand now. I think I understand. Oh, Dad! Come on, team. Time to go back to that. Goodbye, Dad!